This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. This last week was the first week in McCook that stores started mandating masks to be able to go in there and buy. The Bible spoke about it too, that uh, there would come a time when you could neither buy nor sell without the mark of the beast. Without the mark of the beast. I am not saying that the mask is the beast. At the same time, the Bible did speak of similar situations. And you are in a rock and a hard place. You either do what they say, or they'll kick you out, or have the cops come get you. Either way, it's not a good situation. I didn't go to Walmart this week. Uh, I went to Dollar General. And they still had the same mask situation, though. They demanded a mask of some kind. And so I have this gator. It's an ultra lightweight, thin, because I just can't breathe through the mask very well at all. I only have about 70% of my lungs left. I had chemical pneumonia way back. But I can take this, lay it over there, and it's good enough. It gets me by, and I can still breathe. I can still breathe. And so that's the route I have went. They run a little over $5 a piece in Amazon. Worth their weight in gold if you absolutely have to have them. Again, mowing and all sorts of other things. I like it myself it's for that purpose. With that, though, I did have a Walmart employee come over to my snow cone truck, get a snow cone. And uh, I said, have you had any trouble over there? Because I hadn't went out there. He said, oh, the people were in general uh, were not too bad but he said the public he said more than a few though uh, were pretty heavy language of what they were being forced to do they were not happy with it not happy and I said is that the worst you've ever seen out there he said oh no he said Black Friday uh, is a lot worse the day after Thanksgiving he said you know they open up one minute after midnight or something like that and he said they just go crazy and uh, I said, well, what's the worst that you ever saw that night? And he said, well, he said he was there. And he said a woman was uh, dragging a flat screen TV up front to pay for it. And, uh, a teenager bumped into her, apparently didn't mean to, but bumped into her. And she thought he might be trying to steal her flat screen. So she pulled out of her purse a pepper spray and sprayed him in the face sprayed him in the face that's right down he went you know crying and screaming from the pain his father not far off come running up then and a lot of heavy words and the cops were called they took everybody outside to settle off what was going on she was charged with assault assault on a child a youth and so she was also banned from ever buying in Walmart again Again, never to be allowed in there. That was the worst he said he had ever seen. That he had ever seen. But down the road, I have the feeling it's going to get a lot worse than uh, it is today. For a thousand different reasons. Law enforcement, and as we slide towards socialism, or Nazism, either way you want to call it, government control. Uh, you'll either do what they say, or you'll go hungry. You'll do what they say, or you'll go to a re-education camp. I, I could see that coming real easy down the road, absolutely. So you guys be careful, and consider at least keeping a mask within arm's reach, just in case you need to buy something. Thank you for your time.